What's up, guys? This is the one and only Josh Andrews, the undisputed champion. I'm going to respond to John Carter. I can't believe the dude thinks he's all a hot shot. He, lo he lost his, his match to Bad Guy 516. It was back last year. RCW slowly started on YouTube. He lost in the Gauntlet Clean, and apparently it's my fault. Well, I'm the one that kind of made the Gauntlet match. And you know, like for, for, that's when I was world champ at the time, and I just chose the guys I wanted to uh, fight. So I just put them in a six man. And where was he able to fight me at? Final destination. And it was bad guy who got the one on one against me. Well, y'all know what happened when that one on one happened. But John Carter, this isn't my fault. I didn't see you as talent. You got to earn stuff here, but you made the wrong mistake attacking me after my match at. The Halloween show. Uh, you think you're some type of horror character? You think you're Demon Junior 2.0? Well, at least you don't do teleportation, but you like the cheap shot. Ah, uh, you, know, you, you think you're a hot shot, man. But I ain't came here to talk about John Carter. I came here to talk about, well, Demon Junior. What kind of matches do I want to see Demon Junior do in RCW? Like, um, dream matches, like. Is, is there any dream matches you have for Demon Jr.? Just leave it in the comments. And yeah. What matches do you want to see Demon Jr. in? And who do you, who you think Demon Jr. should be fighting? This better be good. Alright. And. Bye, guys. Alright, back up. Buck up. Yeah, hey, just damage. Hey, can you both damage y'all each other for me? The unpredictability right, of a ready? triple threat match makes this three, almost impossible two, to predict. One, Any go. one of these three can walk out of here the winner. Name your name. No, it's because I heard controller fucking drop. What a that was two. It, it doesn't matter, it still wasn't stopped. Superstar always needs to be ready to be attacked by both opponents in a triple threat match. So it's another wrestle burn. Interesting alliances and the numbers game can become Damn. your worst enemy in a hurry when you're competing against two other opponents. No matter how you look at it, it's a situation you don't want to be in, but you must prepare for. It. Beautiful technique. A competitor must be ready for the possibility that they'll fall victim to a two-on-one attack on a triple threat match. A great example of that was the triple threat match on SmackDown Live between AJ Styles, Dolph Ziggler, and Barry. Uh, said not to. No one thought that Ziggler and Styles would work together to perform a double dive off the barricade that put Corbin through the Spanish announce table. And that's exactly what a superstar always needs to have in the back of their mind. That at some point, their two opponents will most likely join together and take them out. It's one of many occupational hazards that come with competing in a triple threat match. They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no count outs. Might have just broken something. Looking helpless right now. This could be the beginning of the end. These competitors are walking on dangerous ground right now. Oh, what a slam! gonna take more than that <laughs> breaker talk about having the living hell beat out of you this has all been over oh 
dodges that one. Whack! Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Oh boy, he is rolling. We know it's coming here. Hooked up. Front throw, side slam. Cover here. 